Welcome and welcome back everyone. This is the Cosmic Awakening and today we're doing a yes or no timeless pick a card. We have eight options today. Option one with the yellow calcite, option two with the Dalmatian Jasper, option three with the Rose Quartz, option four with the Desert Rose, option five with the Double Terminated Clear Quartz Angel Aura, option four with this pink um, um, feather that I found the other day on a walk and option number seven with the tiger eye option number eight with this um, Caribbean blue aragonite take a deep breath exhale don't forget to like this video subscribe and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads here on the channel without any further ado pause the video if you need more time to choose your pile and let's move these up here so we can create a frame. Okay. Done. Welcome pile one if you chose this pineapple um, yellow calcite. This is your yes or no. Let's find out if it's a yes or a no for you. If you like the decks that I use here, you can find them in the affiliate links in the description box. Okay, so willing release. Maybe you're asking about something that you're wanting to release or should you release something here? The number 49 may be relevant. The number four as well. Four is about structuring yourself. I see a um, a butterfly here so you are transforming and maybe it's about making a wish as well something that you need to release here abundance release to attract in abundance maybe you're asking about your abundance maybe you need to release something to attracting in this abundance as you release something or release the outcome release the worry release the fear release the lack mindset and substitute it for an abundant abundance mindset to manifest more effectively, to manifest the things that you want rather than the, the things that you don't want. There's something here about fly, flowers. We have meditate and contemplate, new moon and Pisces. So you could have a strong um, placement in Pisces. Doesn't have to be. You're being invited to meditate and contemplate. There's a new beginning coming for you. Should you release a new abundant beginning? Should you release something here? This could have something to do with a caring connection. We have temperance, patience here with the, the number 14 and the number five, five meaning change. This could be a, a, a question about love, about a caring connection, but you need to release your um, attachment to the outcome or you need to release something before you can come into this connection. You need to meditate and contemplate upon what it is that you need to release. It could be self-sabotage. It could be some form of addiction or something that is toxic that could um, affect the abundance in this connection or your abundance in general. We have the Ace of Swords. So you're going to get some kind of epiphany or you're going to see the truth or there's going to be communication coming in. Or maybe you're asking about communication. We have adjustment. The number eight. So there are adjustments needed here. Uh, this is reminding me of Libra energy, the scales, justice. Adjustment. There needs to be an adjustment. The adjustment could be releasing something, uh, healing, detoxing. And we have Princess of Pentacles. You could have a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or Libra in your chart, okay? This is about um, something new that is long-lasting and stable. Could be uh, you're asking about marriage. I'm seeing a ring there, and so the sword, I'm seeing like a finger through the ring is what I'm seeing with that imagery. You could be asking, will you be proposed to? 
and I'm getting a yes for that. You're getting a new beginning, a truth. Someone is communicating to you that's a yes as well. There is stability and a long-lasting partnership here. I see that will be uh, there will be a contract as well. There could be here as well a business contract happening for you. Your finances will be improving. You will achieve more stability here. It's a yes for that business idea. Move forward with it. It will bring in abundance. Okay. But there needs to be something that you release so this can uh, unblock the potential and the blessings coming from the situation. But it's a yes. Okay. Pile one, that was a yes for you. Let me know how that resonates for you. In the comment section, if it does not resonate, choose another pile. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. Bless you and bye. Until next time. All right, welcome pile number two. If you like the decks that I use here, you can find them in the affiliate links in the description box. Let's find out if it's a yes or a no. So we have call of the muse and the number 31. So the number 31 could be a date in the month. It could be an important age or number. The number four as well, which is structure, structuring yourself. Call of the muse. So this could have something to do with creativity. You could be a dancer. You could be someone's muse. You could be asking, am I someone's muse? Am I someone's wish fulfillment? I'm seeing this is all about your own wish fulfillment. Could have something to do with being on stage or being a performer. Maybe you're a ballet dancer. Okay. We have change. So there's going to be some kind of change in your life occurring. It may seem impossible right now. Even a fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. So you could have some important placement in Aries. Doesn't have to be. Full moons are completion and celebration. So there's something here you're completing, celebrating, or letting go of. There's some kind of conclusion. You're going to get some kind of answer and clarity shed on some something that is either going to propel you forward to take action, what is what I see here. This is what I see here mostly. Determination. Angel of love. So there could be a situation here you're asking about love. If this is a love situation, okay, fiery climax. Take it as you want to take it. You may be asking, will there be sexual interaction with someone on your mind? The number 49 could be relevant. The number four, you could be seeing 44 a lot. Check out angel number 44. Whatever's happening here, it's divinely guided. You may be asking uh, if someone who is um, demonstrating passion toward you, if they're also in love with you. You could be asking if this uh, a situation with someone that is um, seemingly sexual and superficial, will it turn into something more? Will it change to something more? We have the Three of Swords, so something here has been bringing you pain, very possibly. Could be a third party situation. We have the Nine of Wands, a lot of pain. It's like you've been through a lot of battles and we have lust. Wow, okay, so mm -hmm. we have the number 11 there. So you could be dealing with a Leo. Um, you could have Leo in your chart. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of um, sexual energy here with this pile for some reason or you, something you're very passionate about. But I'm getting, if you're asking, is this love? I'm not seeing this as love just yet. And uh, I'm, I'm seeing love as someplace else. There will be a, a positive change for you, but it's almost like you need to change your mindset and your energy as well. But this is going to put you through a lot of pain. If it's less that you're feeling, maybe um, you may want to consider something that is more in line with what you want and change your perspective. There needs to be a change here. Okay, there needs to be a change here. This is a no for now. Okay, pile number two. This is a no for now. So, 
Let me know how that resonated for you. If that was not your question, if it feels like it doesn't resonate at all, choose another pile. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Thank you so much for watching. Bless you. And bye. Until next time. <clears throat> Welcome, pile three. If you chose the rose quartz, this is your yes or no reading. If you like the decks that I use here, you can find them in the affiliate links below in the description box. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. Sorry. We have Awaken, Awakening Genius. So this could have something to do with an idea, an epiphany, or this is your the spirit saying that you're about to awaken the genius in you. Or the genius in you is about to awaken. We have the number 29 as well as the number 2 could be relevant to you. Okay. We have forgiveness. So you may be asking, will someone forgive me? Will I forgive someone? Should I forgive someone? Maybe you're dealing with an older person. Maybe you're older and there's someone younger than you who is wanting your forgiveness. We have a win-win outcome as forecast, so it could be something with a legal system and you're asking about a court case or a, a case that needs to be solved or you're asking will there be a balance, fairness. You could have some impor important placement in Libra or someone you're dealing with or you could be dealing with the justice system. <clears throat> you're wondering if um, there will be a win-win outcome. Action. You may be asking, will someone take action? Should I take action? The number 17 and the number 8 could be relevant. Should you take action? If I take action, will there be a win-win outcome? If I take action. If I forgive, will there be... Is this fair that I forgive this person? Okay. Let's see if it's a yes or a no. We have the Ace of Pentacles. A new beginning, a new opportunity that is stable, long-lasting, and prosperous, abundant. So it's looking like a yes so far. We have the emperor taking the lead and the reins of your own life, taking control, being a leader. You could be asking about becoming a leader here with an idea that you have, a genius idea. You're wondering, should I take action on this idea, this new business venture? Will it be prosperous and... Um, Will it bring me respect? We have the Prince of Wands. This is definitely something new here. Taking action again. Asking about taking action because this is something you're passionate about. You could have Leo Sagittarius or Aries in your chart. This is a yes. You should take action. A yes. The win-win outcome will be forecast. Yes, you should forgive. Yes, you should take this uh, genius idea and move forward with it. Okay? You could have Leo in your chart as well. I did say that, but anyway, there you go. It's a yes, okay? A yes for financial stability and prosperity with something that you're passionate about, okay? Pile number three, that was your reading. Let me know how that resonates for you in the comment section. If it does not resonate, choose another pile. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future readings on the channel. Bless you. Bye for now. Welcome, pile number four, if you chose the Desert Rose. This is your yes or no. If you like the decks that I use here, you can find them in the affiliate links in the description box. Okay, we have opening to discovery. The number 34 and the number 7 may be relevant to you. 34 could be an important age or number. The number 7 could mean July. We have a key and a keyhole that is bigger than the key leading to a forest. Oh, so you guys could be uh, in a place that feels really arid and boring and dry and uh, uneventful. And you're thinking whether if you turn this key, if you take, if you open up to discover what's on the other side, will it, will it, is that a good idea? Are you going to find all that you think you're going to find, all the wish fulfillment? Is it like the dream that you think it's going to be? Will it bring you the emotional fulfillment you think it's going to bring you? Will it be healing the way you think it will? We have adventures. Yeah, you guys definitely want to go on an adventure here. Maybe it's about travel. Could be to a tropical place, a tropical setting. Or there's just something that's pulling you in as if it were this wonderful 
dreamland where the colors are so alive and the air is just so pure and moist and um, it just feels very, it's like nature giving you a big hug is the feeling that I'm getting here and making you feel like touched by the divine. We have balanced spirituality and practicality, full moon in Pisces. So if you're being too much with your head up in the clouds, you need to uh, ground yourself and take more practical steps. If you want to make your dreams come true, you need to actually take action. And if you're being too practical, you may want to um, take your dreams more seriously. I am missing a card here. Why am I missing a card? Where did it go? Okay, this is interesting. So we're missing a card here. Where did it go? Wow, guys. Okay, it just disappeared. Did it get like, was it not supposed to be here or something? Let me see. So interesting. Where did it go? Okay, guys, so, wow. <laughs> Let me just try and, and think why this card is not here. Okay, so there's something that Spirit does not want you to, to, to know right now. They don't want to disclose. Let me just get one of these major arcana from the Becoming Tarot, my friend Polly's deck. She's still making it. You can follow it on her IG, her Instagram. While she, it's in the making, she's almost finished with it. She has the majors for sale already. Pretty soon she will do a, she will start selling the, the entire deck. It's quite beautiful. You have temperance and the lovers. Okay, so we have Gemini and Sagittarius axis here, energy. So this could be about a higher level soulmate, a choice to make in love or a choice to make. Maybe this is, a, you, you, this is someone you, who is an adventure to you. It's a new situation, something you've never felt before, but it feels very divinely guided. And um, it's like you're mirrors to each other and you need to make a decision here. And you feel like you touch each other's souls on every level. You could have like, uh, one of you could have Venus in Gemini. The other one of you could have Venus in, in Sagittarius or vice versa. Or Mars in Gemini, Venus in Sagittarius. Okay, someone here could have a moon in Pisces, Vedic or Tropical. We have the moon, so something here is hidden, could be feelings that are hidden. Five of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Is this a yes or a no? Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I want to get clarifiers. I want to get clarifiers. First pile that needs clarifiers. Is this a yes or a no, please, spirit? Seems like um, this is a challenging situation for sure. Someone here could be missing someone very deeply and seeing someone as... There could be a secret situation here and someone is uh, scared of losing someone. I'm seeing Mars in Scorpio. Hmm. What's going on here with the moon, please? The moon clarifying the moon. So you guys are mirroring each other for sure. You could be hiding or this could be a secret here. Hmm. Five of cups, please. What's going on? <sighs> Clarified by the ten of pentacles. So there could be some separation here and there's a big decision to be made here that's going to change your lives. Queen of Cups. This is a yes. 
This is a yes if you're separated from someone and if you're wondering, do they have feelings for you? Yes, they do. Do they want forever with you? Yes, they do. But you need to come out of whatever is hidden right now and open yourself up, up to the discovery. You need to take that step. You need to go on that adventure, but you need to do it in a very balanced way. Someone here could have Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer, or Cancer in their chart. But someone here is feeling very stuck, going through a spiritual awakening. Hence, um, why um, this is not a clear yes or no yet. It's a yes. For feelings, yes, there are feelings. Yes, you are mirroring each other. Yes, you are higher level soulmates. Yes, you bring balance to each other's lives. Yes, you should open to the discovery. You should open to the adventure. But this is a tricky one. Because it almost takes like something, someone like hiding something or strategizing. Ten of Cups. With the, eight, with the Ten of Pentacles, this would bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment. So guys, this is a weird question, but I'm seeing Ten of Swords, so you have to let something go that you're stuck to. The Empress, the Divine Feminine, someone here sees you as the Divine Feminine, or you're in your power and someone is very attracted to you, someone sees you as their forever, their mother of their child, or the father of their child. They want a family with you, a legacy, a lot of passion, a lot of emotions here, but there needs to be a tower moment. This is a complicated, the lovers again, ace of pentacles, new beginning that brings stability, ace of cups, new beginning in love. Someone wants to work with you, someone's working hard for this. It's This is not a simple one, but again, I'm seeing possibly this is a twin flame connection, so... That may be why that's what's going on here, okay? So pile number four, I believe this is pile number four. That was your reading. Let me know how it resonates for you in the comment section. Definitely very interesting and why that card disappeared and where, it's, where it went. Maybe I didn't even put that card in there for some reason. I needed to be shuffling around here and getting cards from other decks, okay? That's how special this pile is, wow. So... That was your pile. Let me know in the comment section how it resonated. If it did, if it did not resonate, choose another pile. Bless you and bye for now. Okay, welcome pile number five. If you chose this double terminated clear quartz angel or this is your deck, this is your pile. Sorry, if you like the, the pile, the decks that I use here, you can find them in the affiliate links in the description box. You got the Oracle's gift and we have a tea. We have some tea here. And um, the number 37 as well as the number 10 and the number 1 could be relevant to you. So something about consulting an oracle. Maybe you've been watching a lot of pick a cards. Maybe you should get a private reading. Um, one of those tea leaf readings. Oh, this is telling me now to get a tea leaf card. A tea leaf card for you. Oh. Wait. Okay. So what came out for you from the tea leaves, we have tent and temporary situation. And we have archway, new opportunities, possibilities and opportunities and paths opening up for you after a temporary situation. Okay. We have opportunity. Yeah, there's an opportunity coming your way. Don't let your past hold you back. You're supposed to be coming out of your comfort zone and stepping into your life purpose. Don't be stuck in your old ways because they'll keep you away from your blessings. Yeah, you're, you, there's some form of indecision and you're here to help you make this decision. The number eight could be relevant here. We have the four of pentacles. Yeah, you're very stuck in your ways. Or someone is. 
Six of Pentacles, reciprocity, equal give and take, a balanced situation, also being very careful, mutuality, but being very um, careful. We have Two of Cups, so there seems to be, this is a yes, but you need to let go of something in the past. The, yes, this is your higher level soulmate. Yes, you should take the new opportunity. Yes, you should take the new opportunity and let go of the past. Because the new opportunity, there are mutual feelings here. It's a yes. Um, yes. Go for the new thing. Go for the new thing. That is where your blessings lie, okay? The opportunity, the new opportunity. Whatever situation you are in right now, it's temporary, okay? So that was your reading. Pile number five. There's going to be a change, by the way, for you, so get prepared for that. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. Bless you and bye. Welcome pile number six if you chose this pink feather. This is your yes or no. If you like the decks that I use here, you can find them in the affiliate links in the description box. We've got smoke and mirrors, the number 42. Could be relevant, the number six. Someone could be confusing you or some situation could be confusing, hot and cold. You're getting mixed signals, mixed messages from someone or from some situation. Or you feel like you're being duped. Or someone is trying to like uh, hide something from you. We got focus. You need to focus. Focus. Focus more on other things. Nothing is yet set in stone. That's why things seem confusing. It's because there is no definite outcome or there's no def definite answer. You could be dealing with someone evasive and very um, mysterious or just um, some situation that there, it still hasn't been defined. That's why you can't understand what's going on, no matter how much you focus on it. We have a second chakra, Archangel Ariel. So this is the sacral chakra, the, the, the color orange, the number 36, the number 9 could be relevant to you. But this is about your creativity, your self-confidence, your sensuality. Maybe you're not able to focus and you're not, you're having, you're experiencing a creative block, could be. We have the nine of pentacles financial stability and independence possibly you're single six of swords you're healing moving away from something prince of pentacles so taurus capricorn virgo energy could be in your chart somewhere or you could be dealing with someone you could be asking is someone going to take action toward you slowly but surely yes they will but they're not showing you just yet because they're healing and they're moving away from something right now and they can't really express anything. They're still making decisions here. Uh, you may be asking, will I be financially stable and secure and independent? Yes, you will. Because you're taking the appropriate steps. Nothing is yet set in stone. The future is what you create. So make sure you focus on the things that you want and not the things that you don't want. Manifest from a place of abundance and not from a place of lack and you will get to your goal. It's overall a yes, especially when it pertains to finances and stability in other areas of your life. Okay, this could be about someone you're very sexually attracted to, a very sensual connection. It's almost like the more the, the more time this takes, the more you want this. So just keep focused on yourself meanwhile and on your 
financial growth, your prosperity, and your own abundance, and healing your self-confidence, work on your body, work on your finances, work on your creative pursuits, okay? That was your reading, pile number six. Bless you. Let me know how that resonated. If it does not, choose another pile. Take what resonates, leave what does not. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. Welcome, pile number seven. If you chose this tiger eye, this is your yes or no. If you like the decks that I use here, you can find them in the affiliate links in the description box. We have a burst of magic. The number 48 may be relevant to you as well as the number 12 and the number 3. So we have the lotus flower here. So this is telling me that no matter what you're going through, no matter how bad it is or it was, you are about to, you're going, not only going to survive this, you're going to come out a lot more. It's like it's almost giving you a glow up. It's having the opposite effect of what it could have you're actually turning obstacles into stepping stones and you're going to realize the magic that you're able to accomplish in your life. Openness. There's something opening up for you. Some opportunity, some magical opportunity is about to open up for you because luck is on your side and you know what they say about luck is a, is a, a, a mix of um, preparedness and opportunity. So open to the opportunity and luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius, you could have an important placement in Sagittarius. But there's a new beginning here. You need to open up to it after you close a major cycle in your life. One that was very painful. But you, you glowed up and that's why you're prepared. Yeah, you were possibly dealing with something very hostile, a hostile environment or a person. The number 26 and the number 8 showing up here. Maybe you were de dealing with something or someone very hostile, but instead of allowing this to destroy you, you turned it into your strength. Good for you if you did. Eight of Cups, walking away from something after something more meaningful on a spiritual quest. Three of Pentacles, building something, collaborating. Princess of Wands, a new found joy, inspiration, motivation. You could have Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries in your chart. This is, is a yes if your question is about a collaboration. This is a yes if it's about walking away from a toxic situation, person. This is a yes if it's about communication coming in. There will be communication. Okay, and it's going to be magical, so be open to it. You're going to be able to fight against hostilities and let go of them. And you should definitely walk away from any hostile environment situations. You will be able to and build and rebuild someplace else because you're magical. And you're going to find out just how magical you are. Okay. Okay. So someone here could be a tiger in the Chinese zodiac. That was your reading. Pile number seven, I believe. Let me know how that resonates for you in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. Bye for now and bless you. Welcome. Last but not least, pile number eight. This is your yes or no. If you like the decks that I use here, you can find them in the affiliate links in the description box. So let's see what you got or what you get. Into me, I see. So this is about turning inwards for your answers. It's about accessing your intuition and your higher self. The number eight may be relevant to you. We have miracles. So you want to manifest a miracle here. You want to manifest blessings. You're asking, am I going to get a miracle? Am I going to get my blessings? We have take time to breathe out. You may be holding your breath too much in a situation. You may be very anxious about something. But you need to really take a breather here. You need to meditate and relax more so you can access your intuition. 
so you can unblock the toxic energy and, and welcome in your blessings because you're a little bit blocked now you, you could be needing some energy healing if you'd like to find out more about my energy healing just email me and I'll send you um, an email back we have the star so there's some kind of wish fulfillment that you're wanting here or asking about you could have Aquarius in your chart doesn't have to be this could be about healing as well wish fulfillment and healing we have the ace of wands a new beginning new opportunities new inspired um, ideas to follow through with are coming to you a new beginning a new opportunity a new passionate beginning the universe after you close the cycle the world is your oyster again Aquarius energy knight of pentacles um, Taurus Capricorn Virgo energy you could have that in your chart. This is a yes. Yes to closing a cycle. Yes to moving forward. Yes, someone will take action toward you. Yes, you will get your wish fulfillment, miracles and blessings. Yes, you will have opportunities and new beginnings. This is a yes. This is a yes mainly for wish fulfillment. If you wanted a no, it's a no. Okay? That was pretty straightforward. Pile number eight, let me know how that resonates for you in the comments section. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future uploads on the channel. Bless you all, and bye for now. Until next time.